sounds like Barkley. All right, the Toronto Raptors 5 and 1 coming off that big 5 and 1 on the West Coast trip there coming off that big back-to-back -back wins over Sacramento and Utah last night. Gobert and OG at the end of the game with 45 seconds left. That's bullshit. They both get thrown out of the fucking game. They're both going back and forth. Tee them both up and fucking move on. Finish the fucking game out. Let them both play. They're both having well, Gobert had a bit of an off night, but he's a big force and a, and a big distraction for Utah when he's out on the floor for other teams. So it, it was kind of crucial, but not really because the Raptors kind of closed things out. I just thought it was bullshit how they got tossed out of the game. The referee in, always subjective, especially in the NBA. Well, all sports are subjective. Look at the NFL with pass interference, etc. But I'm talking about the Raptors right now, so I'm going to focus on the NBA. I'll do a I'll do a ref and rant or whatever. Respect Jimmy Cordera's for ref and rants. But um, the Raptors, Nick Nurse has got to be fucking coach of the year. Look at how many fucking injuries he's dealt with all season long. His top seven players have all missed 10 plus games. He's had his entire starting lineup for what, five games this fucking season or something like that? Celtics have had a lot of injuries, but it's been their perimeter players. They haven't been missing their entire starting five or nothing like the Raptors have. And Nick Nurse still has this team with a better fucking record than last year with Kawhi and Danny Green. And in second place, third overall in the NBA. What he has done is unbelievable in his first two years. Never seen a, a, a Raptors coach who's been able to adjust on the fly as well as he does both offensively and defensively, scheming things, the, the bench. It was nice to see them get involved last night after a bad night in Sacramento. And the Raptors are going to be fine because they play physical defense and what carries into the playoffs? Defense. When offenses dry up, when coaches have night after night to prepare for you and only you, they don't have the 82 game schedule where it's this team one night, then a back to back against the next team, then a day or two off, maybe three days off, like the Raptors right now don't play again until Saturday. But, you know, it, it's such an up-and-down schedule. And in the playoffs, when offenses dry up, the scoring goes down. Look at the, the scoring averages in the playoffs compared to regular seasons over the history of, well, almost all sports. Look at hockey as well. How many 2-1, 1-0 games you get in the playoffs, where in the regular season you get a lot of 6-3, 6-5, 5-3 games. So defense is what can carry this Raptors team to a finals. A healthy Lakers team is, in my opinion, the team to beat. If LeBron's healthy and on point and Anthony Davis is healthy, those two together are very fucking scary for everybody in the NBA. I think there's five legit teams who can win the championship this year. You got the Lakers, you got the Clippers, and you got Denver in the West. And I think only Milwaukee and the Raptors in the East have a chance. Boston... I'm a little undecided on Philly. If they get healthy and they, they start to click, they definitely have the skilled players at the right positions with Simmons and Embi Embiid going for them. But I, I just think there's five real contenders in the NBA this year with the Lakers, the favorites, out in front, despite Milwaukee's record. Look at their struggles without Giannis in the lineup. They have their first three-game losing streak in two years or two-plus years or whatever it is. I don't think they had a three-game losing streak all last year. I know this is the first one of this year, so it goes back a ways for Milwaukee. It just, to me, solidifies that Giannis should win the MVP this year because without Giannis, the Bucks struggle to win or beat anybody because they really have no one else that can... No, not a lot of depth on their bench that can step up and handle the load that Giannis does can become a distraction like Giannis is and draw double or triple teams. I don't think Middleton is that player where he, he's going to draw double teams and if teams double Middleton, what are they going to rely on after that? So to me, you got the five contenders in the NBA. Nick Nurse has got to be the fucking coach of the year. It's an absolute fucking joke if he doesn't win it. 19 games left in the season. I think it's all but a done deal because of the position he's kept this Raptors team in with all the injuries and so many media members. I remember picking the Raptors third in the East in my preseason predictions, but with all the pundits picking them, a lot of them eight, they're out of the playoffs this year just because they lost Kawhi and Danny Green. Didn't look at the whole team, didn't watch a lot of Raptors basketball until the playoffs, and they just thought it was all Kawhi, not Nick Nurse. Nobody else had anything to do with it. So Raptors, they'll be all right, Raptors fans. Ease up, don't worry about what the fuck happens. They got a tough little end to the season. It's 
all about the playoffs, so baby. See the Bucks in the Eastern Conference Finals. Peace.